New for 2014 is Hot Wheels Track Builder series of track sets. This one here, Track Builder, it's a five lane tower starter set. Picked it up at Target for $24.99. Where did uh, Hot Wheels get the idea for a uh, track tower? I don't know. But that's my track stand that I built back in 2011. These two videos here, Big Air Jump and Rapid Transit, they were my first videos that I did with the track stand. Uh, I'm curious if this track builder five lane tower starter set is going to be tall enough to use for gravity sets and have cars do loops as well. On the back of the box you can see a whole bunch of the sets put together. You're just going to receive the items that are shown in this little picture right here. Five lane tower starter set. It looks like we have a two lane downhill track on the left side. Got some room for track on the bottom. Looks like you can go through like a flame or something over there. And here we got a little airplane or jet that can be launched on the side. You can see some of the other sets that are going to be available. And yes, I do plan on reviewing them all. It has a copyright of 2013, but it didn't appear until like December, right at the end of 2013. Really mostly making its appearance in uh, 2014 all over the place. As you've seen on the box, it has 20 feet of track. A Hot Wheels car is included, and I did get Vendetta, just like shown on the box. You might get another car. The new Track Builder track system uses these new connectors. They have a little button here to help you pull apart your track. It has a post, that's what goes in the holes. Put it together. There you go. Now when you play with your track, it's going to stay together pretty good. And when it's time to take it apart, you push this down and that recesses the post and then it pulls apart much easier so you can put it away. Now if you have other types of track and other connectors, on the right, all of these pieces of track came from the Track Builder set. Maybe you have some trick tracks that had this here, and they had these little short orange pieces. As you can see, I was able to use these other older connectors in the Track Builder track, no problem, except for the old style Hot Wheels connectors. That's as far as I wanna push it in. It's just too tight. Otherwise, if you have these kinds of connectors with the new track builders track, you can slide them together. No problem. Another note about old track. On the left, I have some old track. Here is the track builder track. You can see because of the half moon circle right there. Uh, it might not uh, be just as level. You might have a little bump if you listen. This track's higher. You can hear it hit. Now the car might roll over the bump, no problem. If you want to be sure, just make sure that your car is going that way over the bump. And you definitely won't have any problems. There are a few stickers that you're going to want to put on to decorate your track tower. Now, it might not be as tall as my track tower, but it's got five spots to launch your cars. And guess what? When you push this right here, all five launch at the same time. So you can have like an explosion of cars coming down off of your stand. For level one or the ground floor, you can connect track to make your own little intersections and head to other track builder sets. Level two. Level three. Racing through the flame. Level four, through the flames and launch the jet. If you want to make your tracks head bigger, they have these packs right here, three feet of track. It's basically four pieces of the shorter piece of track that came in the set. Now, of course, Vendetta can't race by himself. That's no fun. So you gotta pick yourself up the Track Builder five pack you're going to notice some Highway 35 and Accelerators models on the bottom. High Voltage, Crazy 8s, Asphalt Assault, one of my favorites, Spine Buster, and Custom 11 Camaro. For downhill racing, it's best to use as much track as you can. So I use 14 of the 17 pieces of track 
they don't give you quite enough connectors. So I had to use some of my older connectors. It's using up almost 120 inches of space here. I have my starting stand way in the back. Now one car came with the set. I added the five pack, that's six cars. But you know for bracket racing, you really need eight. So we're gonna add power pipes and maelstrom to make nice even bracket racing. These are gonna be the matchups. Heat number one, heat number two, heat number three, heat number four. Level five, a two lane downhill drag race with an awesome checkerboard finish. Custom 11 Camaro on the outside, power pipes on the inside. Custom 11 Camaro wins. Heat number two, asphalt to salt on the outside, spine buster on the inside. Fix the flag. Set, go. Spine Buster, that was close. Heat number three, Maelstrom on the outside, high voltage on the inside. Oh, <laughs> well, they knocked the finish line right off because it was so close, but high voltage gets the flag. Heat number four, Vendetta on the outside, Crazy Eights on the inside. Go, Kadeem. Kadeem gets the flag. Oh, he's tickling me. Oh, please don't tickle me. Oh. do custom 11 Camaro against spine buster and then we're gonna do high voltage against crazy eights custom 11 Camaro on the outside spine buster on the inside this is for the semi-finals spine buster <laughs> And for the last match, high voltage against crazy eights. You know, you know what that means. Who's in the finals? Crazy eights. Spine buster versus crazy eights. I can hear a whole bunch of young men going crazy right now. What an exciting final. You have Crazy Eights, who was uh, from Highway 35. I don't remember if he was in Acceleracers. But Spine Buster from the Acceleracers. Here we go. For the finish. For the win. Spine Buster. Woohoo! So what do I think about the track builder five tower starter set well I added a loop because I was curious is it going to be tall enough for cars to make it through a loop if you have it yep looks like it's just barely tall enough to let the cars go through the loop I mean it's not part of the set I added it but because I use loops in my videos and lots of kids like loops uh oh maelstrom he might not be a loop car Oh, he made it. But you know what? Overall, when people ask me what kind of sets do I like, I like starter sets that let you connect Hot Wheels track and be imaginative and create different kinds of layouts. 
This one definitely gets my five star rating, or maybe I should say a four. Team Hot Wheels, four thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.